Okay, so you have to have some kind of, uh, obviously, power to the fan. And I was underneath this thing, you know, trying to find some power. I was way in the back and nothing was what I needed, the 12 volts that I needed. Um, and I was going to run a whole wire just from the, straight from the battery back and put a little fuse in it. And then I, re I looked down here and I saw that the uh, circuit breaker is down here. And I felt kind of stupid because where I need to put the wire is right there. So there's only one hole that I have to put and then I have uh, everything accessed. So this will be really easy. And that's what we're going to show you right now. Okay, so uh, I needed a wire um, to go just a double wire or two single wires or whatever um, to put into this that would be long enough to reach what I need and I'm hoping it's going to be long enough or I'll kind of look like an idiot but uh, UD's going to go ahead and cut this for us right now so just cut these ends off right on both of those ends cut the ends off? Yeah, so I just found a, you know, you see these all the time, they go to computers, they go to TV, they're power cords, and they're little, literally everywhere. Cut it. Okay. Squeeze it hard, you gotta cut it. Well, I Squeeze just... Both you might need both hands. Yeah! Other side. Okay. Oh, wait, not that one. Oh... You said both ends off! I'm just kidding. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> All right, that's exactly what we needed. <laughs> okay, and uh, that, that's, with her, never have done that before, so that's just showing you how easy it is. So any of these cords can be wor worked into a great double cord. Look at that, good cord, good cordage right there. So hopefully it's long enough. Okay, so now we're gonna strip this, and once again, Yudi has never ever done this before. So this is gonna be kind of cool, something she learns, or it could be a horrific end of the day. So she's gonna use this <laughs> razor blade. Oh God! If you're gonna stand there, it'd be great if you could hold a camera. I know. Okay, so let's put it. What, what, we're, what we want to do is just take this and go as close to the center as you can. Just stick it in a little bit and pull it straight back. Okay. Pull it towards you. Doesn't you don't have to do it hard. If it's hard to do, then it's wrong. So a little bit, yeah, well, actually, we, maybe we don't even need that much. Let's just do it like right there, right? Is that get it close to the center as you can. That's good. Now just a little bit of pressure and then pull back. Keep it in the center. All right, let's see if it came, if you did enough. Can you see it? It should be, have a little rip right there when we want to pull it apart. See, it's a little rip. You got to do more, I think? It's a little off center. Well, it's okay. That's not that big a deal. But I think it needs more. Yeah. Do it again. Okay. All right. Here, let's just uh, Get the other do side. on the other side. And then we'll just have... Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. And usually these will kind of rip down once you have that done. But... Uh, that's probably all I really need. So that's a per perfect uh, start. So now we need to strip the ends off so we can put either uh, twist ties or crimp them together, however we decide to do it. But there's systems that you can use, these little strippers that you crimp down, but you kind of have to guess at the size of the... I'm just going to go to 12 because I think even... Oh. <laughs> I don't see too much copper coming out of that, right? So you want to twist these ends just to, you know, keep them from falling back and getting in the way of everything. And you're going to need them twisted later anyway. So she's going to do this one. What do we do, 14? We did... No, do, remember you're going to grab both of these with your hands. Okay. Uh, other way. This way? Yeah, 14. Flip your hands Try to do the same amount as here. Wait, 14, like... 14 on this side or this side? There's no. Is there 14 on both sides? Well, yeah, then it should be the same right. number. Well, this one's 14 and that one's 14. Oh wow, 12 and 14. That's, that's, why, that's not that's confusing at all, saying, is it? That's why I said 16 or 18 because I saw oh, 18 no, and you saw 16. Oh no, because both of them will work. 12 and 14 will both work in the four in the 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 12 and 14 here, and then this is the 14 and uh, 16 will work. Okay. So do the so, 12 and 14. Okay, so this one. Yeah. Get, get a good grip. Get a grip you're gonna on have it. to. I have to make sure it's the right side. Right size, size. 
Right. Okay, I, I, I... Put it down hard. Okay. Oh, get it again. Okay. Hard. hard. And then, okay. then just pull it up. See how you're holding it right here? Not getting much leverage. Oh, uh, well, I got some of it. <laughs> oh, wow. Hold on, hold on. That might just, you know, pop off of there. Oh, no. Go ahead. That's weird. Okay. Do I need to do a smaller one now? I'd, yeah, try a smaller one. Why doesn't it pull? Because you gotta get you got to get some leverage on it, you know, with your hands. Where, where were we at? We were at one smaller than what it was. You gotta kind of, you know, put your thumb here and pull like oh, that. Okay. Did any copper come up? Not much. Like three? Yeah, that's fine. Four, five, this, six. This uh, is way thicker than what we need for the task at hand. Is it? Does it hurt anything if we do Doesn't that? Doesn't hurt anything. No, okay. it's fine. All right, I'm gonna go dig a ditch. You take it over. <laughs> Oh, okay. All right, so that was the first time Udi ever did that. Now she's going to do it the second time she's ever done it. And see if she can do it all by herself here. There you go. There we go. Okay, that's the first part. Now we're gonna uh, strip them. Okay. That should do it. Grip it good, here. There you go. Ooh. Twist it, my hands are dirty, is that okay? Don't worry about it. Start on that, that other one. That, oh, don't, don't crunch these. Oh. Pull that back. I wanted to see what the size was. Uh, that. There you go. All right. Excelente. So now we have a perfectly good uh, cable to run any kind of uh, appliance that you may want. It's Woo! probably about five feet, something, a little over five feet. Very useful. And we're about to use it. Burr! Say bye. Bye. So we hooked up this this one early just to test it and now we want to put a more permanent one so that's why we did this little this cable right here so now we need to get this through that hole right there and then connect it to this on the other end so how do we do that Yui? I have no idea. She has no idea so let's go uh, come up with some ideas. Ooh. Okay so we have to go through the power uh, section to get power obviously so you have to take this panel off and you, you have to come over here and kind of shoot in this direction a little bit yep 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 so you just push and let go that comes out you got these two screws this holds this panel on they don't come all the way out they stay in which is really good because when you go to put it back on it goes back in a lot easier does that make sense to you Yudi? That these screws they don't pop all the way out that they they stay in yeah, so that makes next sense. you don't you don't have to worry about losing them and stuff so okay there's that and then now we need to take this out but before we do that uh, we need to disconnect the power hun yeah can you uh, unplug the AC power okay. cord gonna... this is probably not something it's I, okay thank you. I, sh I should say, but I, I just, uh, I don't disconnect the battery because it's just 12 volts. I know you're saying just 12 volts is kind of stupid because it can really, you know, knock you on your butt, but it's still 12 volts and I, I, I feel like I'm going to be very careful while I'm working. AC can kill you, so why mess around with that? So I turn the AC off, I leave the 12 volts on, and now we got these four screws here. So basically, all the power in this whole trailer, almost everything, I guess, goes through this power center. You have all your main breakers, your fuses for your 12-volt uh, stuff, and your inverter is here. So once you got those off, you just need to pull this forward. And that exposes all the wires in the house. 
And now here you'll see this is the one that we put in before. So like I said, it was a temporary job. I do have a fuse on it, so um, just to be safe, and I'm going to keep it that way. With the one that I hook up, I'm going to try to hook up right to here. But we're going to try to make a more permanent uh, solution here to this instead of tape. This would actually work. I would be safe with that probably, but I, you know, since we're going to put another longer cord on and the testing round is over, I'm going to put a little, little bit higher quality connector to it. So that's what we're going to do next. Cut.